There's one place that has a very, very special place in your heart, and that's Boston. For sure, for sure, yeah. Is it 10 wins now? Yeah, you know, it started in 2001, and then it was like, okay, so maybe it was a fluke, and then 2002, I did it again, and then um, 2003 again, and then it was like, well, there's one guy that's won this five times, maybe I can do that, and then I did it five times, and then I'm like, well, there's one chick who's won this eight times, maybe I can do that, and then it just kept on going until it got to 10, but 10 was very hard. There was a big gap between nine and 10, including the, the Boston bombing, which um, complicated things a bit, but I was really happy to do it in 2014, the year after the bombing, and get that, get that special 10th win. What I love about you in Boston is they really seem to have taken you in as one of their own. There's a, there's a real love for Ernst van Dijk in Boston. Yeah, you know, if you, if, you win that, if you win their race a couple of times, then you become sort of a celebrity in town. And I got called to do a, a first pitch for a, for a Red Sox-Yankees game. And then you're like, so baseball, okay? And then um, <laughs> you, we, we play cricket here, you know? And so I researched baseball a bit and I found out Fenway Park was the, the oldest baseball stadium in the world, 1913, and this Red Sox-Yankees fight's a bigger fight than the, the Stormers and the Bulls. And... Um, <laughs> well, yeah, we don't talk about rugby on this show. Yeah. <laughs> Please and, don't do that again. And then you start watching, you know, you're following it on ESPN a bit, and I saw um, George Bush do a pitch, and he pitched the ball, and it fell, and the commentator <laughs> said a dirt ball, and it's embarrassing, so it was a high-risk attempt. But, um, you know, I pulled it off, and for funny enough, the year that I did it, the, the Red Sox won the, the World, they call it the World Series, but they just play in America. It's, a, it's a world, the World Series. <laughs> and, um, and they broke the Babe Ruth curse, and so they asked me to do it for the next three years, but they stopped winning, so <laughs> they, asked, they, haven't, they haven't asked me again, but um, I've had a good time in Boston. I got the key to the city. I don't know if that means I can just immigrate, but, but I, have the, <laughs> I have the key to the city, and it's been good, yeah.